All I hear is talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, yeah, I respect that. If she need on the ride, do oh, I bet that? Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is J.H. How y'all doing, Postal Family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling guy ready today? Let's talk. It's the beginning of the year. It's an excellent time to get on that website that I have in the video description, Purchasing Power. Start planning your vacation for the end of the year. Start planning to buy some Christmas gifts for the end of the year. If you celebrate Christmas, it's early in the year. Plan ahead. It's March for me. Whenever you're watching this, I already have Christmas gifts stashed away for Christmas. I do everything early. Yo, postal workers, shop early. It ain't gonna kill you. Little bits and pieces. Shop early. Seriously. I, people are like, oh man, you rich. No. Use this. Use what we have. This. Let's make this happen. Some people are like, man, the babies ain't getting nothing for Christmas. That sucks. I went two Christmases and it was it was almost shameful for me. And it hurt to know that I couldn't give my kids anything for Christmas. It was really hurt. And I love Christmas. Y'all know nothing about Jay. I love Christmas. Couldn't do anything. Now I make sure it's unnecessarily ridiculous. I make up for it. Um, this art, this is not this article, this video that's about to pop up is just it's repetition. Just giving you more information about what's going on with these um, S and DCs so you can get, get to see it. I showed you the inside of one that I was at personally when it, when it opened up. Um, very impressive. And apparently this is a new one that has uh, this machine. And the one thing that I want you guys to pay attention to is, uh, well, you know what? Watch the video and we'll be back and we'll discuss what we see. Working smarter, not harder. That's the idea behind the United States Postal Service new 10 year strategic plan. We were one of the first of about 31 of these centers to be um, put into the country. USPS invested $40 billion into a nationwide initiative to update their aging facilities. Here in Bay County, they took a 110,000 square foot facility and transformed it into a new sorting and delivery center. We have this huge building that was essentially empty um, and now we've moved delivery units into this to take advantage of the space. This machine um, is, a, is the Estes machine, small delivery unit sorter, and it's capable of sorting packages at about 2,500 to 3,000 pieces per hour. How it works is an employee unloads packages off of a pallet onto a conveyor belt. From there, they're automatically scanned and sorted based on their address and postal workers' routes. There's a carrier that delivers to a certain neighborhood within the city, so the packages are sorted to that particular route where that carrier um, delivers the mail and packages. Before the technology was updated, the packages were scanned and sorted manually. And in a best case scenario, we're looking at about 300 packages an hour per clerk. USPS workers say with the old system, they could unload about 10 pallets per hour. Now they're able to do upwards of 30 an hour. Officials say Panama City was chosen as one of the first locations due to its rapidly growing population. We'll be capable of handling any additional growth and, and, and what's going on in Panama City right now. Panama City now joins Gainesville as the only city in Florida with the new technology in Panama. All right. So some people like it. Some people hate it. But what did I see? I saw one clerk. One clerk. That's what I saw. I saw one clerk. Now you heard how many packages they were they were getting out. They were talking some ridiculous number. What they say, like 20 pa 30 pallets? That's crazy. But what did you see? One clerk. Please do tell me how they're not losing positions. Please tell me how they're not losing positions. Because if they got one clerk. They say they on upward of 300 packages thrown an hour and that machine's doing 2,500. Yo, that's madness. But, but I did speak to my shop steward and my shop steward said to me, 
that um, uh, King King's walking in the house. I I don't know why he does this. Anyway, um, the shop steward said, you know what? In certain scenarios, they may be excess within up to 50 miles. And then I started saying, well, you know, there's some places that are further than 50 miles. And he was like, well, you know, they, they got to figure that out. They'll still have the centers open. So it, it's, it's back and forth. But the good thing is, he said he's going to create more truck driving routes. That'll be for another, that'll be for another uh, uh, video. But as far as the clerks are concerned, I mean, what happened there? You saw one clerk. They said they bought a bunch of carrier union units in, and it was one lady. And you saw all of that stuff around? That means somebody, hey, somebody, they're not going to be firing people because they emphasize nobody's getting fired. But job cuts those specific jobs won't be there think about it those are the people that open in the morning right those are the ones that are sorting it then they said in that other that other video i just did that they're going to be half the country almost won't have closeout clerks because there won't be any closeout clerks so you think there's going to need for a bunch of clerks so i sit in human resources i see all the hiring that they're doing and Throughout the whole district that I'm in, I haven't seen very many mail handlers. I haven't seen very many clerks. I've seen tons of carriers, but I, I don't see it on the roster. It's weird. What you think about that, King? What do you, what do you think about that? Yeah? Love your speeches. You love my speech. You know what, man? Hey, you remember when we was talking about the maximization of the trailers? Remember that? Yeah, you you out of it right now. He's a little sick. Anyway, all right, all right. Well, you know what? That's pretty much the jits of it. I hope that video was eh, enlightening to somebody, um, or gonna piss somebody off. A lot of clerks don't like the fact that they might not have. I mean, they got competition. They they ain't got to deal with people. They got, I mean, think about that. The, the 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 clerks that come in in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, right? They come in at two o'clock in the morning. Suppose they call out. Now you got, they only bring in two or three in the morning. Suppose one calls out. Now two people are stuck with all that work, right? And then there's always one that works faster than the other. You know what that machine does? It eliminates that. This is something that we cause. This is something that we cause. But with all that being said, this is JH. Y'all think about it. You talk about it. And uh, we out. Yeah. Hey, hey, Charlie, Charlie, do your job, man. Come on, do your job. This guy here, this guy here. Unexpected expenses stressing you out? Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now.